The BenQ Board Pro RPO3 is an interactive display designed to change the way you teach. With high-performing hardware and intuitive classroom software, coupled with an exclusive air quality sensor and air ionizer, this is the most advanced display in the BenQ Board lineup. First, we'll introduce the hardware of the RPO3. There are four major areas to discuss. The actual screen, the control buttons, the speaker bar, and the I.O. options. Starting with the screen. The screen is anti-glare. 9H tempered glass. It's designed to be used by being touched. It has up to 40 simultaneous points of touch. As part of the classroom care features, there's an antimicrobial coating on the board, which is also applied to the pins and the remote. Other classroom care features include an air ionizer and a blue light filter, which we'll discuss later. On the right side of the board is the control panel. Here, you'll find the NFC card reader. You have an option to use an NFC or near field communication card to log in to your BenQ board. Next to the NFC card reader is the power button. I use the power button to turn the board on and off or to just simply put it in the standby mode. Next to that is the home button, which when depressed will bring us back to this screen we're seeing now, the main Android screen. Next to the home button is a back button, which will take me back a screen. Then I get to the settings button, which will bring up the on-screen display menu. Finally, at the end of the row are the volume up and down buttons. Once I get that on the screen, I can then use my finger to adjust the volume of the sound bar. Across the front of the board is the speaker bar. There are two forward-facing 16-watt speakers along with a 16-watt subwoofer. Additionally, there's an 8 array microphone, which will pick up sound from just about anywhere in the classroom. And the RPO3 is the only interactive display that is Dolby Digital Plus certified. This provides a crisp, clear sound every time. Also, located on the speaker bar are air quality sensors designed to provide valuable information regarding CO2 levels, particulate matter in the room, along with the room's temperature and humidity. Finally, there are motion sensors to detect when someone is near your BenQ board. This allows you to automatically activate the air ionizer, clearing air of impurities. It can also wake up or even turn on the board when someone approaches. On the left side of the board is where we'll find the I.O. ports. A powered USB-C port, an HDMI and companion USB-B port, as well as two USB-A ports and a microphone in port. This is also where the air ionizer is found. If we want to connect a device, such as a Mac or Windows laptop, or a Chromebook, there are several ways to do so. If we have a device that supports USB-C, I can simply plug it in with one cable. This will charge the device using 65 watts and allows you touchback as well as pass the display along on one cable. If we cannot use the USB-C cable, we can use the HDMI port for sight and sound as well as the companion USB-B port to enable touchback. It's important to have this USB cable plugged in right here to ensure touchback. And there you have the BenQ Board Pro RPO3. Be sure to look for our other videos to learn more about our premium interactive board.